Thank you. Penn Teller, would you mind please joining me at the table? I can't wait to see you. How you Good to see you. I have something I'd like to show you. These are U.S. Kennedy half dollars. I won't be using all of them, but four coins and a cup. Now, very few people know that if you hold the coins in the cup at just the right angle, there's something in that cup, and I think it's a coin. There are only three coins here. This is the first coin to travel from my hand to the cup. That leaves one, two, three coins left, and that's the first one. Please notice, I do not send them up my sleeve. They go straight to the cup. That's how the first one went across. Listen. And the second one goes the same way. Which leaves just two. Two coins have traveled, two coins left to go. Now, I'll be honest, because you guys know a lot about magic. And the only reason you didn't see these go is because it happened by magic. That was the first one. That was the second one. Watch the third one. Listen. Did you hear it? Me neither. Must be hush money, because there it is. So that's one, two, three coins in the cup. Last one's the hardest, because you know what I'm going to do? It's already done. And that's how you send four coins to a cup. You think I didn't even use a magic wand. I don't have a magic wand, but I do have a chopstick, which is almost as good. And with these coins and this chopstick, I will show you something amazing. One in the hand. Watch. Nothing's happened yet, but if I just make a magic pass and wiggle my thumb, that coin will change to a Chinese coin with a hole in the center. It isn't worth as much as these three silver coins, but it's still worth keeping. So I'll do it again with coin number two. The ID is the same. It hasn't changed yet. But I just need to make a magic pass and wiggle my thumb, and that coin will change to a Chinese coin with a hole right through it. Two coins are left. I'll do the next one visibly. That means you actually see it change from a silver half dollar to a Chinese coin, just like magic. And watch the last coin change from a silver half dollar to a Chinese coin, back to silver, back to Chinese, back to silver again. And one more thing. I got the last one in the cup. Give the cup a shake. They all change back to silver. You know, maybe I'm using too many coins. Watch this one, then these. One in the hand, and one, two, three in the cup. Now watch this coin, because it's gone. Really gone. Truly gone. Which leaves just three. I'll do it again. Watch this one, then these. This one, then these. One in the hand, and two in the cup. Now watch this one, because it's gone. Really gone. Truly gone. Which leaves us two. Watch the count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's gone. Really gone. Truly gone. Which leaves just one. Now, what do you do with a single coin? I can put it over there, bring it up over here. If I touch it to my elbow, it'll come over here. If I try to put it back, it'll come out over here, so I'll put it over there and make it jump across the here. <laughs> or I could drop it over there, and you think it's here, but it isn't, because sometimes they really disappear, but they never go far. There it is. Or I could always make it 20 times larger. Thank <laughs> you.